This is Lee Payne from Cloven Hoof. How are you all doing? Uh, this video is about the most influential albums on my life. Um, it's wonderful to be doing it for Metal Crypt and Luxy. And I've had some time to think about this really because I've just got over a, a pretty bad uh, knee operation. And I came to the conclusion that the four albums I'm going to mention, um, I never tired, tired listening to them. And not only are they the most influential metal albums of my life, I also think they're the four greatest albums of all time. First up on the list uh, is this album here, right now, by the incredible Deep Purple, uh, made in Japan. Uh, I think it's one of the greatest albums of all time, uh, if not the greatest live album of all time. Um, and it kind of got everything started off for me. Uh, a good friend of mine at school, uh, he was kind of uh, recommended various heavy bands to me because uh, before that I, I really kind of liked all the uh, all the glam rock bands like uh, Slade and Sweet and T-Rex and stuff. And then I started watching a TV program called The Old Groove Whistle Test which uh, was on television in England. And it was great, it kind of featured all these new sort of progressive bands that were coming out. Uh, there's no such thing as heavy metal in those days, it was kind of progressive rock. And I was sort of talking to my friend at school, a guy called Chris Clowsley, a really good friend who was in the school, same school football team together and we were really good mates. And he was, he was into all these incredible bands and stuff and we were talking about music in general. And he said, I think there's a, a few bands which you'd really be into. He said the first of which, uh, tell you what, shall I, shall I make a tape of it? And it was just before the school holidays so uh, he went and made this tape for me and I kind of took it on holiday and you get kind of bored on holiday after the first couple of weeks and uh, then I decided to give this tape a listen to and uh, he didn't write who the band was or anything or the music or or whatever and I, d I just had this sort of tape with just all this fantastic music on and I listened to the first track and it absolutely blew me away you know like I it was like a, a bolt of lightning and the track turned out to be Highway Star and um, it just completely changed my life and, and of course the awesome Smoke on the Water riff kind of pumping out. So uh, it was almost like a religious experience when I heard that album. So I went, went back to school, you know, after school holidays and say, Who, who's that band? And he mentioned Deep Purple. And uh, it was incredible. I had to go immediately and buy any album I could find uh, with them on there. And, uh, but that album, to this day, it still absolutely blows me away. It still sounds fresh and vital. And, you know, I just think it's one of the finest heavy metal albums of all time. Album number two uh, was also recommended to me by a friend of school. And here it is, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Um, I think this is the band's finest ever album. And Tony Army was just an absolute genius on this, and you know, so was, so was Geezer, of course. Incredible sort of lyrics. Uh, it's got absolute masterpiece on this album, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, Killing Yourself to Live, um, Looking for Today. I mean, there isn't a bad track on there, and uh, Sabra Cadabra was fabulous as well. It's a little bit more sort of uh, technical than the previous four albums. I mean, and those are masterpieces as well. You know, I love Volume 4. Mass Reality, Paranoid, and, and the first Black Sabbath album. Uh, they were so influential, and to many, really, Black Sabbath kind of invented heavy metal, as we kind of know it today. And I just think that that album really was the band at their, their finest. I don't think they, they ever equal that, and a lot of bands never will either. So for the black, uh, for the black metal sort of bands, you know, like I've, it's got to be up, way up there, you know, for one of the most influential uh, albums of all time. The third album uh, I'm going to uh, mention to you, uh, it takes me back to the early days of the band because we used to cover a couple of tracks of this band. Um, it's a three-piece band from Canada and every single member of that band was an absolute virtuoso, fantastically talented. And for those who haven't guessed who it is yet, it's the amazing Rush and the album's 2112. Uh, this, we learnt so much about how to write sort of epic songs from this. And, and I think they had such a massive influence on, uh, on myself and the, and the rest of the band members in Clovenhoof. We were all massive Rush fans really at the time. So I guess under the hood, Clovenhoof were uh, a prog 
band really in essence. Uh, it's just that we played the music really aggressively in a heavy metal way. So that gave us our unique sound. And a lot of people um, sort of said we were, were sort of pioneers of the uh, power metal genre. Uh, but uh, a lot of that sort of uh, technical playing and get, getting your chops down and intricate song structures and everything, uh, those sort of skills were kind of learnt from watching bands like Rush. And I, I was really lucky to see them on the uh, 2112 tour when they first came to England. And uh, I was completely blown away. And we come to album number four, last but not least. Uh, it features a four piece from Ireland and they really were incredibly uh, influential to us because of their uh, use of uh, twin guitars. Uh, another great band like that was Wishbone Ash, but uh, this, this band was one of my favorite sort of live bands of all time. And the album I'm gonna pick of theirs is the incredible Jailbreak album by Thin Lizzy featuring the amazing songwriting of Phil Linners, of course. Um, I saw them do about six encores at um, Wolverhampton Civic, and they were really so tight and powerful. Uh, they left a massive sort of uh, influence uh, on me. And you could have picked quite a few Thin Lizzy albums, but that was the first one uh, that I really sort of got into. They had a really big hit single with Jailbreak and um, I was completely uh, blown away when I saw them live. So with, with albums like this, um, they were just so influential and I think even now they're, they're sort of four of the best albums you could possibly listen to. So if you're uh, a heavy metal band starting out, and all your heavy metal fans in general anyway, go and check out those four albums because there's still so much to learn from them. And I keep going back to them time and again. Cloven Hoof salute you.